how to combine the masking fluid and lifting off technique to create the different edges for different distance of flowers. So what I want to do, I'm going to combine, first I'm going to do the masking fluid, that's the masking fluid. And I'm going to put it right over here. I'm going to use the brush to apply the masking fluid. So before applying, before I dip my brush into the masking fluid, make sure you have enough soap get into the middle of the brush so that the masking fluid won't get inside the brush. In that case, you're going to have less cleanup to do. So that's good. Right, that's good. Right. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a look at where I'm going to put the main flower. I only going to mask the area of the main flower. I want the flower right over here, that main flower. Okay, I'm going to put the finger over here, so knowing this is the space, right? You can use the pencil to draw carefully and spend your time. Now, I'm going to do, I'm going to dip, just going to paint, see? Uh, the middle of the flower is right over here. Start over here. Now here you go. Now we're gonna do and just paint like you would paint directly with the white paint. But right now I'm gonna use the masking for it to block out those paint that I'm I'm not gonna allow the other paint which I'm gonna apply to the background to get into this space. Like this. Let's see. Like a dip a little more. I think the middle one here and get get out a little bit. And just paint with a stroke. Like that. And if you want to change the shape, you can change it. Just the way you paint with the white color. But we're not gonna use the white color. It's just going to block out the shape so that the this area is gonna be remain to be white. Like this. Uh, let's see. Do I need to change it? Okay. Make sure the middle over here. And what about other flowers? We're gonna using lifting off technique to lift up a soft shape for the other flowers. Okay, let's see. Like that. Uh, this basking food, it has yellow color. So you can see the shape of this, what the area that has been applying the masking food. So this is good. Now, I'm immediately I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wash the brush and see very clean and just, just simple. Now I'm going to put the brush on the side. Now I take this water out of the ridge. So I'm going to, now next I'm going to wait a few minutes and, until this dry. Could take 10 minutes. Make sure the masking fluid dry completely. Now it's completely dry. The next step I'm going to do, I'm going to mix the background color. I'm gonna mix the yellow color. This have some blue color over here. So I mixed quite a bit of yellow color in here. If you think the color is too bright, and then you can mix the complementary color, right? So I'm gonna take some water, add some present blue. Now the color getting really dark. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to apply, mix more color and keep it going. More color. And get a little bit more yellow in here. Get some, a little bit more blue. Just look at the background like this. Get down here a little more and have a little bit more yellow color. So let's get a little bit more yellow color. Here you go. Like this. Look at the reference and think about, oh, what color is supposed to be? And that's easy. Okay, have 
a little bit more yellow. Make sure the color thick enough, like this, and come out a little bit. And look at suggesting uh, some grass coming up in the background. Because the uh, masking for it protect uh, the color get into the area. So pretty easy to blocking it. Now actually what I want to do, I'm gonna make some area in the background on the top over there. I'm gonna make it a little bit darker. So I'm gonna get a little darker color coming in like this. And also have some darker color around this white uh, shape. In that case, this shape is gonna pop a little more because it have more contrast, right? Like that. Yeah, let's see. And at the bottom over here, and I'm going to see, I'll probably have a little bit red color somewhere, have a little changes, like that. Like this, that's good, fine. So I'm gonna clean my brush. When you do this step, you use the biggest brush that you have. Okay, not the round brush. I'm gonna lift up those paint the excess paint accumulate at the bottom. That's good. Now this step, I'm gonna use my round brush. I'm gonna start lifting up color. And maybe a little bit too early because it's wet, uh, when it's still wet, you lift up the colors and the wet will immediately come back uh, to kill the white you just lifted, right? So we're gonna see. We're gonna do the one that is really far away. So right over here. Let's see. Just remove the wet from the brush. Use the finger. And you see that? It disappeared. So I'm gonna continue, leave it a little more. Like when you leave it early, it look very soft because it just disappear. But this also is suggesting the distance, uh, the flowers from us, like this. We probably have to come back a little bit later. And let's see, I'm gonna leave a little bit right, right over here. Like this. This technique lifting off, why is it wet? You create something really soft. We're gonna continue. So you can see the different timing. And over here, I'm gonna have a little bit over here too. And the paper getting dry as we are doing this, okay? So you know the timing, lift up, one petal at a time, like this. That's good, the timing is good for this flower. Like this, put it soft. Now I come back over here and lift up a little bit. Some people like to use tissues to lift. Uh, you can do that, and you, can, you need to practice, but don't use the tissue to drag on the paper, especially for the paper's not that good, and you can drag and damage the surface of the watercolor paper. So you just want to tap, don't want to drag it. I get used to lift up with the brush. And over here, also from distance. And I'm gonna continue lifting. Simple technique. Need some practice. So you can see this looks far away. Also looks like a little glowing effect. Okay. Like that. Another one. And maybe okay. On, in the in the back. This already dry, so this is good. I'm going to go quick quicker coming to this side. 
I'm going to leave this flower. When it's close to dry, and it, the shape will stay. Okay. Like this. Okay. Keep lifting. Like that. Good. Right. See the edge? Looks pretty soft. Like that. And from the outside coming in, look at the motion of the flower. And the middle over here is a little lighter, like that. Okay, a little bit. If you're too dry, you need to moisture the area in order to leave it. Now it's good. Now I have one flower over here. I think this can be a little bit longer. So make the flower looks like a, a little tilted. Okay, now I'm going to other place. Like say this put this up. So I'm gonna have lift up over here. So here you go, lift it up. Do it a little faster. going looking for the shape looking how the shape look like okay like that a lot of shape on this side okay now another flower lift up the the shape. Okay, now looking at, I'm gonna leave the little bit more space between the flower and that flower. So I'm gonna make that flower stand out a little more. So I'm gonna have this flower over here. Lots of petals. So be a little patience. One at a time. Uh, a painting like this, you cannot come back and forth, back and forth, and uh, wash it again, and then do another round, and you're gonna ruin all the those uh, those shapes. So you have to do that like uh, one time and then you got it right. Okay. okay, right over here, take away and have a, a few petal down over here. Okay, a little bit over here. And uh, a few on this side. It's almost there. Okay. One over here. This almost dry. So use the water to soften it and then lift up the color. So when the painting drives, your lifting off technique, you need to first Use the water to soften the area before you can lift the color up. Most of people don't use lifting off, but this is a very good watercolor technique. You should use it. Okay, let's take a look. And we're gonna put one over here, uh, right over here.
like it. Almost there. Okay. Couple of small petals on this side. That's good. That's so over here, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, a little lifting off for the leaf. I'm gonna leave a little leaf over here, like that. You can use that for the leaf. And I'm going to leave a little bit over here for the leaf. There's a small leaf. Like this. That's good. I'm gonna have a little bit over here. So a little texture it actually make people think it must be a grass or something. Like that. And it's getting there. That's good. Uh, let's see. And now from here, what we're gonna do we're going to let the paper dry and we're going to come back to do the last run. Clean yellow color and put over here. Make sure it's thick enough. Get a little bit more yellow. That's good. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to start from somewhere really soft. Look, and a little yellow color over here. Like this, a little yellow over here. That's it. And over here, and I'm gonna leave a little white petal at the front. And looking at that's a little yellow shape. That's what this yellow shape look a little bit warmer. So I'm gonna have this a uh, little warmer yellow color. And actually, like this. I'm gonna come over here and see a little bit uh, yellow color right over here. Right? That's the little yellow color over here. Like that some yellow color right over here all the way connect to the edge and if you think the yellow color too clear uh, you can make the yellow color a little bit softer by soften the edge a little bit now let's try it like over here I'm gonna make it a little softer and just uh, have some water to soften the edge it's very easy like over here I want to use the water you make it a little bit softer. Okay. A little bit over here, a little softer. Now the paper already dry, right? So what I want to do, I'm just going to use uh, the finger or use the uh, uh, the eraser, especially for this. Or you can use a little fabric, a little tower. You can lift up this really quick. Like, look at this. It's really sharp. There's the only sharp edges in the painting. So this one is going to stand out uh, more than everything, anything else in a painting. Okay, now let's see. That's the last step of the painting process. Lift up completely. That's good. Right, that's good. Now we come in here, take a look. First lay the yellow color first, right? Take this, it's pretty bright yellow color. So with the contrast, the different treatments of their uh, flowers, this flower would pop as their focal point, the main object. And after this is drive, I'm going to have a little bit green color on the edge. But right now, I'm going to have a little gray color. Just look at it. It's like a, a little blue gray colors. I'm going to add a little detail to the petals. Like this. Like that. And a little bit, there is a one petal underneath. So I have a little shadow over here, like this. I can make that a little bit darker if I want. And I'm going to have, take a look at it. 
again. Okay, see the shadow side of in the petal. And here you go. And this can divide into two like this. So now you can see the detail of the flower. And over here, I'm going to have a little bit darker color. Oh, it's showing. There is the color. You can make that look look like separate, seeing the background color. And by filling a little uh, darker color similar to the background, you still can change it. Okay, over here. And I'm going to have this. Looks like there's one petal on top of the others. It's pretty easy, right? So this flower is definitely stand out as the first thing that people is going to look at. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to wait until this completely dry before I come back to give a little details in the center. But right now, I'm going to come back to use a little darker color and give a few strokes, like over here, right? And I'm going to see that is underneath. I'm going to have a little red color, look like a little warmer. And let's see, one stroke, like that. And a little flower over here, one stroke. Like a, a little stroke over there, a little bit over here, right? And a little suggestions over here, and suggestion over there. I'm going to have a little bit, very light color, like uh, coming up like this. Break it a little bit, and also a lot of coming through over here, like that. The suggestions. Okay, that's good. And have a little warm color, and get a little bit, a little bit suggestions, like that. Get this fine. And now I'll come back. This is almost dry. Now I come in to have. A little bit, the color doesn't need to be very, very dark. Just a little bit, add a little detail, suggestions over here. Maybe a little too dark. So I'm going to give a, a few dots over here, because that is still the shadow. And I'm going to have something a little bit lighter. Just on the top, a few dots. Don't want to do too much to that. And then this painting. Oh, one more thing. And that right underneath over here has this stem connected like that. And then this coming in over here like that. And at the bottom over here, give a little bit, a few suggestions. And there is a yellow color should fill in, a yellow green color should fill in in this gap. There's a little lid. And like that. And okay. And maybe a little. I think this is not necessary. Take away. I'm going to have a little brighter yellow color. Put it right over here. But I need to soften the color in the background. It's showing some actually really soft, out of focus kind of shape. So you can use the lifting up and add some shape into it like this at the same time. Use the large brush. Okay. 